Hello and welcome to live Barclays Women's Super League coverage of Leicester City versus Chelsea from the King Power Stadium. The Foxes' two previous home games against Chelsea in the WSL ended in 9-0 and 8-0 losses, their heaviest defeats in the competition. Emma Hayes' Blues fell short to Manchester City last time out and haven't lost two consecutive matches since July 2015. They'll look to showcase the class they possess tonight in their quest for a seventh WSL title. Well, Leicester have lost all of their previous five WSL meetings against Chelsea and conceded 30 goals while scoring just two in the process. Those zero points and goal difference of minus 28 against Emma Hayes' side is Leicester's worst record against any single WSL team. Chelsea's 9-0 win at Leicester in March of 2022 is their joint biggest WSL success. And they start this weekend ahead of Manchester City only on goals scored. And they know that the heat was turned up on them by Manchester City's victory yesterday. The Blues' defeat to City ended a run of 10 successive wins in all competitions. So confirmation of how things have shaped up so far this weekend in the Barclays Women's Super League. Manchester City beating Everton by two goals to one in the big North London derby. Arsenal beat Spurs in front of a bumper crowd at the Emirates. Liverpool big winners at Villa. Likewise, Brighton and Hove Albion who, who hit Bristol City for seven and it's finished West Ham United one, Manchester United one. And this is what it means for the table as things stand. Manchester City have gone ahead of Chelsea, but the Blues can regain top spot by beating Leicester City here today. Leicester City, meanwhile, currently comfortable in mid-table. They would move level on points with, fit, with sixth place Spurs with a victory here this evening. Well, Yuta Rantala is uh, a player that Leicester City will turn to as they try to trouble the Chelsea backline this evening. The Finnish international is their top WSL goalscorer this season with five and their second top goalscorer in all competitions with six goals to her name. And also a creative hub in the Leicester City side is uh, Yuka Mumiki, the Japanese international. She created nine chances in the WSL since the winter break. Only her teammate, Rantala, has created more in that time. Well, Chelsea have got a bit of a striker crisis at the moment, but uh, they have got someone that could prove to be the most expensive signing in women's football history to lead the line this evening in the Colombian forward Maya Ramirez signed for a then world record £426,000 from Levante that has uh, since been surpassed by Rachel Kundanji's move to Bay FC. And a rare appearance uh, for Nushkin today, the German international her last WSL start came in the 3-0 victory away to Bristol City in December. She had been on as a substitute in all four WSL matches since then. Well, Leicester, since their promotion to the WSL, have had a better record after the winter break than before it. More wins and fewer defeats following the season interval, and they also average more goals so can they spring into action against Chelsea this evening looking to try and uh, halt that rotten run of form that they have against them they've lost all five of their WSL meetings with the Blues and as I mentioned that goal difference of minus 28 really stands out as well and their two biggest WSL defeats suffered at the hands of the champions the 9-0 reverse is their joint biggest 
in the WSL and the joint biggest WSL away win by any team in the competition's history. Things could have looked even rosier for Leicester than their current mid-table position had they been able to uh, keep hold of their leads this season with uh, Willie Kirk's team dropping 11 points when they've had their noses in front this term. Only Aston Villa have uh, dropped more so far. Can they get the better of Emma Hayes' side and inflict back-to-back -back WSL defeats on them for the first time since July 2015? History certainly on Chelsea's side here then. They are looking to complete another big victory over Leicester City. The 9-0 success in March of 2022, their joint biggest WSL success. But Leicester might have a bit of a spring in their step, having won two of their last three in the league, their only successes in the league since the first two games of the campaign back in October. And while Chelsea have put a number of goals past them in recent meetings, the Foxes were in fine goal-scoring form against Bristol City when they knocked in five against them midway through last month. That's in the middle of a good run of form, having won four of their five games before the international break in all competitions. Willie Kirk makes just one change to the side that won 5-2 against Bristol City last time out. Courtney Nevin comes in for England under-23 forward Shannon O'Brien, who drops out of the squad altogether after picking up an injury on international duty. Three changes from Emma Hayes to the side that lost to Manchester City. Katerina Macario is included in the Chelsea squad for the first time since she signed from Lyon in July. The club's top scorer, Lauren James, is out through suspension and Ashley Lawrence is on international duty with Canada while Melanie Leupoltz drops to the bench. Chankovic, Ritten, Conried and Perise are the ones to come in. Well... Chelsea, as I mentioned, with a bit of a striker shortage at the moment. Lauren James suspended after five yellow cards. There was a doubt over their all-time top goal scorer, Frank Kirby, who picked up a knee injury with England. She is amongst the substitutes for Emma Hayes today. So Chelsea with a exemplary record away to Leicester City so far. 17 goals scored, none conceded. Looking to wrestle top spot back off Manchester City this evening with three points again on Leicester territory. Maya Ramirez, player that uh, Many are keeping an eye on this season, though she's uh, yet to score in the WSL for Chelsea. Has made her presence felt, and it will be something that they will have to keep a firm eye on. So, it will be Chelsea in the change strip of green to get us on the way. Referee today is Phoebe Cross, the third WSL game of her career, all of them coming this season. And on referee Phoebe Cross's whistle, the players Match officials and coaching staff will take a knee. Chelsea will be hoping it's a case of history repeating itself as they travel to Leicester City. They've won both of their visits 
scoring 17 goals and conceding none and a on course for an early opener here as well Guru Wrighton was almost in business she was on target in the 8-0 success in December of 2022 got two at Leicester in the 9-0 victory as well and inside of 30 seconds alarm bells ringing here Ramirez with the glancing touch on and Guru Wrighton almost crept in it'll be Wrighton to take the resulting corner for Chelsea Wrighton's corner into a good area Bjorn Carter and Cuthbert's touch just deserted her there was a little nudge in there on Josie Green as well Chelsea keeping up the pressure no respite for Leicester early on Delivered by Perisay. And uh, good claim under pressure from Kopp. Dutch goalkeepers uh, now started six of Leicester's last eight games, all of the last four in the WSL. She'd only started one of the first 13 and none in the league this term prior to that run. Tiba. Tibau. Here's Carter. Perisay. Chelsea are actually three points worse off than at the same stage of last season. And uh, they've now lost two in the league in total as well. Last lost more than twice in a season when uh, they were defeated three times back in 2016 that campaign they were runners up Ramirez oh, seemed to have committed a foul there Ramirez Green Cop. it's a good pass from her that's a lovely touch as well and here goes Whelan, sending it wide. It's Courtney Nevin, off, and it nearly came the way of Mamiki. Nevin again. Held up by a written Conrad. Takarada's through ball, oh, now! Terrace with a bit of a dicey challenge there, she nudged Yuka Mamiki off it. Willie Kirk may have uh, been wondering if they might have had a shout for an early penalty there. Be pleased with the attack that led to the question being raised anyway. Generally done well in the uh, matches that have followed after the winter break than before it. Averaging just under half a point a game before the winter interval and uh, well over one after its conclusion. Ramirez. Lovely pass from Lushkin. That stood up nicely, Charles underneath it, Ramirez interested. Leicester get a little bit lucky, Ramirez then uh, illegally tried to win possession back for Chelsea. This was the shout, and I think that it was the right call. Perisse just stood her ground and uh, ensured that uh, Mamiki wasn't able to make anything of the opportunity. Handy player, though, Yuka Mamiki, played in all eight games now since she joined Leicester and uh, started all of the last seven. Popped up with a goal and three assists in her time in a Leicester shirt so far. She scored and laid on an assist in that 5-2 win against Bristol City. 
Ramirez this time gets the decision her way. Phoebe Cross seeing Chelsea Green clatter into Ramirez. Well, she's not got a goal in the WSL yet, but uh, she certainly does ask questions of opposition defences, occupies players and uh, can sometimes create a bit of room for her teammates. And she's won this free kick here. Clipped in by right in, back across by Charles, and in the right place was Courtney Nevin. It's only really halfway by Cayman. Perise forced to go all the way back to Hannah Hampton. Leicester with 16 points from 14 matches, which is the joint most points that they've ever won in a WSL campaign. Also managed uh, 16 last season. And surely set to top that. Defending to do here though, Ramirez trying to get on the end of it and very good covering by Thibault. Well, Julie Thibault spotted the danger very, very early there. And although Ramirez was motoring to get on the end of it, there was uh, no opportunity for her to beat the French fullback to the ball. Perisay's corner. Oh, and a free header from Yelena Chankovic. I think that Kopp would have had it covered. Well, it was well powered goalwards. Josie Green was the player just in front of her goalkeeper who ensured that a save wasn't necessary. Chelsea asking more of the questions early on. It's another useful looking corner. Here's Chankovic. Rantela forcing her backwards. It's a bit sloppy from Perise, and that touch wasn't great either. Two very experienced managers uh, in the dugout with Emma Hayes up against Willie Kirk. Kirk, one of only five people to manage uh, 100 or more WSL games, uh, alongside, of course, Emma Hayes, as well as Matt Beard, Kelly Chambers and Nick Cushing. That looks offside to me, right and touch back, and indeed the flag is raised by Sean Massey-Ellis. Not a great deal in it, mind, but from that angle, looks to be just about the right call. A problem here, and I didn't spot uh, any particular challenge that might have caused it, which is always a worry. Gives Willie Kirk an opportunity to get some instructions out after what has uh, been fairly tricky opening period to the game with Chelsea applying pressure. His record against uh, Chelsea and Emma Hayes doesn't make for pleasant reading for Willie Kirk. 15 times he's come up against them and he's lost 14 of them. The only victory he's managed was uh, with Everton in their FA Cup quarter-final win in September of 2020. So Generally, Emma Hayes has uh, had the last laugh when they've uh, gone head-to-head. -head. Looks as though Chelsea Green will be OK. Wasn't entirely obvious what the issue was for Green. He was uh, awarded the October Manager of the Month award, beat 
Matt Beard, Emma Hayes, Gareth Taylor and uh, Robert Villaham to earn it. And he's only been in post for just over a year, really. Took the reins in November of 2022 and led Leicester to WSL safety. No such concerns for him this time around. Very healthy mid-table position that they currently occupy, and they could move above Spurs with a success here tonight. Mamiki. Now Vantala. Thibault. On the corner from Rantala, and that's worked out nicely for Tierney. Rantala, and still gets the shot in, and Hampton gets fully behind it. Well, if there was uh, one player that you fancied might pose some problems for Chelsea this evening, it is the Foxes flying Finn. Jutta Rantala in excellent form this season since the end of the winter break. Three goals and four assists for club and country. And testing Hampton there. Hampton. Into Neve Charles, who's coughed up possession. Leicester enjoying a good period. Whelan. Charles in the way, and Charles gets it away. Rantala. CJ Bott. Rantala again. Bott lets it run. That's clever. Takarada. Held up by Carter. Rantala. Good pull. Oh, and a risky challenge flying in there on Takarada. This is a really good period for Leicester City. Chelsea applying the pressure early on. Now it's down at their end. Well, wasn't the most convincing header from Ed Perisse. Has cleared the danger for now at the expense of a corner. England have enjoyed the last few minutes. Might be watching that back. Antelo will take training ground routine into Momiki. Well, they've worked that really well and it nearly turned into a perfect pass for Yuka Momiki. Neat and tidy from Leicester as they went short with the corner. Have scored uh, 21 WSL. Goals already this season, Leicester City. Most they've ever scored in an entire WSL campaign. Their previous best was 15 last season and showing some uh, attacking bite in the last few minutes. Well anticipated by Thibaut. Carter finds safety in Hampton. Now Bjorn. Here's Carter. You can't see a uh, repeat of the absolute thumpings that Chelsea have dished out away at Leicester in the two previous WSL games on Leicester territory, judging by the opening quarter of an hour. That's arced across wonderfully well to pick out Charles. And still, oh, credit has to go to CJ Bott for the way that she levered Neve Charles away from the ball.
pot forwards. Here's Cuthbert. Haven't seen too much of Aaron Cuthbert so far. In a game where the ball has generally been shifted out wide. And the flag is up as uh, it's collected from out wide by Johanna Ritten Conried. on the hunt for a fifth successive WSL title and in need of a win today to uh, wrestle top spot back from Manchester City after their success against uh, Everton. Emma Hayes was uh, philosophical after that defeat to Manchester City said that uh, everyone gets beat and you have to accept it she's not one to stew over anything life's too short for that might have something to stew over here though Rantella good hit and the rebound should have been tucked away by Yuka Mamiki well, Leicester need to make this period of pressure pay you won't get too many opportunities against Chelsea, you wouldn't have thought. Rantelow's effort was palmed away by Hampton only as far as Yuka Mamiki. And when she let fly, I think it might have just kissed the post on its way past. Hampton got something on it as well. It's a good save from the Chelsea keeper, a good double save really. Corner is away. Rantala back in. Carter underneath it. Chelsea being tested. Ramirez, excellent work. And now leading the counter, Myra Ramirez. It's been a really good carry from the Colombian. And then she just bit off a bit more than she could chew. And the move breaks down. Has to look like a team in the middle of a good run of form. Four wins from their five games before the international break. And uh, Willie Kirk said that it was a shame that they had the break to stop their momentum. So they went into the uh, pause with back-to-back -back wins and 11 goals. Looks as though they're finding that flow once again here, though. Charles hacked up towards Ramirez Josie Green has done very nicely there Tierney a bit nasty that for Kopp not someone that's uh, obviously on international duty at the moment Chelsea missing a, a fair few and uh, Willie Kirk was talking about the fact that not having many away during the international break has uh, certainly helped a bit a couple came back injured but the ones who didn't go didn't necessarily come back in good health Deanne Rose uh, still away at the Gold Cup It's a nice pass. Tierney. Takarada. Good vision. And now Bot on the move. Rantala wants it.
Rantala. Not quite enough elevation to pick out Courtney Nevin. There's a bit of swagger about Leicester at the moment. Willie Kirk was talking about wanting to build on that 5-2 win over Bristol City. Main job in training has been to try and get the momentum back as quickly as possible. You can see there that last five minutes, Leicester have been hogging the ball. And they've got it again here. It was the right idea, and it forced Natalie Bjorn to pop it out for the throw. Oh, nice idea, and Cayman was slightly caught in her heels, otherwise she would have had a shooting chance. Now needs to get back to get back at Johanna Ritten comrade who's flying forwards. Ramirez in the centre, Chankovic arriving as well towards Ramirez. And once again, Julie Thibault gets her positioning spot on. It's a few times tonight that she's uh, managed to ensure she was in just the right area to clear the danger. Carter. Momiki. Nowhere near Eileen Wheeler, who's uh, been feeding off scraps so far. First fixture in November saw Chelsea rack up a number of goals again. They won 5 2. Although uh, Rantala and Tierney both uh, managed to find the net. Those are the only goals Leicester have ever scored against Chelsea previously, though. Carter. Boomed forwards to Charles, who took it nicely. Has been uh, dispossessed by Jutta Rantala, who is everywhere at the moment. Cuthbert with the foul. across to Bott. Takarada. Oh, that's a lovely switch of play. Courtney Nevin now. Oh, Hampton with safe hands. Chelsea with limited forward options for this game due to injuries and suspension. Lauren James, their top scorer, suspended after picking up five yellow cards. And as well as uh, James, Sam Kerr, me official, and uh, Katrina Macario have all been long-term absentees. Macario is on the Blues bench this evening, as is 
Fran Kirby, who uh, picked up that knee problem with England. I mentioned players being absent on um, international duty. Myra Ramirez uh, was uh, wanted by Colombia for the Gold Cup, but Chelsea refused to release her for the tournament. Which uh, means that she can continue her hunt for a first ever WSL goal. Only one so far came against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup last month. Ramirez trying to put the squeeze on here. And she's left something in there. And that's a few this evening, and I wonder if Phoebe Cross is just uh, telling her that they are all totting up. Yep, there you go. Three already, no more. Carter. Perisic. Perisic, now written Conried. Ramirez on the turn. And still Ramirez. Four to aim for in the area, but it's too close to Cop. a bit better from Chelsea who have uh, just looked a little bit stale since their opening blitz in the first few minutes Chankovic Carter come into this with two wins from their last three in the WSL with uh, one defeat in that time it's their only league victory since they won the opening two games of the campaign back in October and that 5-2 success against struggling Bristol City also saw them set new club records in the WSL for shots and shots on target and they've brought that uh, attacking impetus into this game against the champions Going toe to toe with the half hour mark approaching. And again, almost a very nice combination of play, and Steve Charles gets the free kick. Well, Sam Tierney didn't think she'd uh, done anything wrong here. Chankovic Cuthbert tidied up by Cayman Nudged forwards towards Whelan. Well, Hayes doesn't look too pleased with uh, what she's seen so far. It's been a bit of a struggle. And Ramirez has been caught in the face there. There was a little bit of uh, chat in the build-up to this game about... Uh, Leicester's uh, amount of fouls 
Willie Kirk saying that uh, he saw Emma Hayes mention in her press conference that they foul more than any other team in the league and that she wanted a strong referee this evening. And, uh, he countered by saying that they've got their identity and defensively they're just a lot better than they were last year. Half an hour played then, and the champions looking for a way through. Nearly came all the way through. Charles was loitering. Ritten Conried. No obvious option for her, so back she goes. Very straightforward for Mamiki. Oh, might be in a bit of a pickle here. Ramirez has managed to help win possession back for Chelsea. But, uh, she was seen to have fouled Cop by Sean Masielis, I think. Ramirez saying it was shoulder to shoulder. Didn't seem to be an initial whistle from the referee now that's what Sean Maciel is spotted and then the whistle did come from Phoebe Cross and you can see Ramirez's argument there that it, she felt it was uh, just shoulder to shoulder handy pass to find Nevin quick look up from Nevin Guru Wrighton, lovely ball, Ramirez chasing, and the flag just checks her progress. Well, look close. I'm not sure she was offside. Sean Masielis had a perfect view of it, though. Bang in line. Cuthbert. Hannah Hampton. Out to Charles. Brighton out muscled. Charles wins it back for Chelsea with a strong challenge. Well, it's turned into a bit of an arm wrestle between the teams now. Ten minutes to go until the break. And uh, Leicester have more than held their own so far. When you think about the fact that the five previous WSL meetings have been won by Chelsea by an aggregate score of 32, this is uh, very much against the grain. 
in the context of the fixture. Early ball is good, Carter stretching. Speeding forwards is Ritten Conried. Nushkin. That's broken kindly for Rantala to have a run. Bot. Not quite. Well, he will be very enamoured with the first uh, half an hour of this game. Chelsea started like an engine, but uh, as the half has gone on, Emma Hayes side have found it a lot more even. Stephen. They haven't lost successive WSL games since uh, July 2015. Chelsea against Sunderland and Manchester City. Their last defeat was uh, to Manchester City. Ritting Conried looking to release Guru Wrighton. Excellent work from CJ Bott. The covering work of uh, the defence for Leicester thus far has been exemplary. Tibau on a number of occasions and CJ Pot very alert there. Right and swings it in. That's uh, not the most ideal clearing header. Green trying to get it further. Clear it in! Chelsea lead, isn't that just like the champions to somehow find a way through? Natalie Bjorn with the improvised finish and just when Chelsea looked like they were struggling to find a way through, they have found a way. Well, it all came about after that unconvincing clearing header and then Bjorn managed to get it up and over the keeper. Well, the Swede with her first goal for Chelsea since joining in January. And she scores against the team managed by Willie Kirk, who she played under at Everton. It's a really clever finish. No real chance for Kopp who is disappointed at the attempt from Josie Green to get the ball away from on the goal line. It's a sucker punch for Leicester, who will feel that they were more than good value for the all-square scoreline. But that is what champions do. Looking for the immediate response here. Have to be wary of leaving themselves so uh, a bit open at the back. Ramirez was chomping at the bit there. Well one back by Mamiki. Five minutes to go until the interval. And what has been a keenly contested first half. That header nearly worked out for Whelan. Ramirez against Thibault. Chankovic. 
back here for Cuthbert. Nuska lost her footing, kept the ball. Chelsea have a throw. sends the signal whipped in by Wrighton oh they were all queuing up in there and Bjorn who's already scored was sensing a second here Ritten Conried. Shankovic finds Carter. On from Perise. Leicester have certainly had their moments in this first half. That same towards Ramirez, held up by Green. Ramirez, oh, taking a bit of a gamble there was Josie Green. Mishkin. Ramirez has seen the whistle go against her a number of times tonight. She might have thought that there was half a shout for a penalty in there against Green. Simply taking a gamble when you make a, a challenge like that. Bot. On from Rantala. Well, Leicester need to ensure that their heads don't drop after conceding to Bjorn's goal. As they had been more than a match for the champions up until then. Pot. Thibault. Has to be careful, Ramirez has picked her pocket. And Myra Ramirez is through here. And scores her first WSL goal to double Chelsea's lead and put them firmly on course to return to the top of the table tonight. That's the one she's been waiting for. The Colombian now up and running in the league after nicking the ball of Julie Thibault and showing great pace as well as calmness to make the most of the mistake. Won it cleanly and then showed a clean pair of heels as she surged away. Out came Kopp, but it was very straightforward for Myra Ramirez to skip around her and then tap home. Chelsea strike twice in quick succession and now have the three points very firmly within their sights. Delighted with the scoreline, I'm sure, but uh, probably would admit that uh, Leicester have given them some nervy moments. We're going to have three minutes added on at the end of this half
Carter. Ev Perise hasn't got it very far away. Chankovic, early pass was uh, read well by CJ Pott. Well, not much to choose between the sides when it comes to the attempt so far, but that's going to be no consolation to him. Chelsea with two goals from three attempts on target. Brighton. Early release was uh, nowhere near any of her teammates. going to be Tinney with this throw then for Leicester City. <laughs> Ramirez. Fancies a run against Bott here, and she's uh, got the ball still, no foul. Myra Ramirez lays it off. And nearly smuggled into her own net by Kopp. It will be a corner, it could have been a lot more embarrassing for the Leicester keeper here. I think everyone expected there to be a free kick against uh, Bott here. Ramirez, though, just held her line in the eyes of Phoebe Cross. And that could have been a very awkward moment for Kopp. Likely to be the last meaningful action of this first half. Delivered by Guro Wrighton. Need to get on with it, Chelsea, if they want to make anything of it. And Kopp claims, and that will be that for the first half, you would have thought. Well, mistakes at both ends of the pitch, really. Leicester had their opportunities to take the lead against Chelsea, but failed to take them. And when they failed to clear a corner properly, Natalie Bjorn was able to lob in her first goal for Chelsea. Then Myra Ramirez, who has been a constant menace, surged clear to get her first in the WSL since joining the Blues. So two of the new signings of set Chelsea on their way to a familiar old story, a victory against Leicester City at the interval. Leicester City nil, Chelsea two.
Well, Chelsea have had much the better of it in the WSL against Leicester City, especially when they've played away at Leicester with two crushing victories. And they almost had their noses in front inside of the first 20 seconds or so as Guru Wright had gone on the end of a move straight from kickoff. Leicester then found their way into the game and found themselves asking for a penalty here. Yuka Mamiki wriggling away and they felt that Ev Perisay may have levered her off it illegally, but referee Phoebe Cross saw nothing wrong with the challenge. A Perisay corner then led to an opportunity for the champions, a free header for Cankovic, which Pop probably would have dealt with. However, Josie Green got in front of her to make sure that she didn't have a save to make. Jutta Rantala has been one of the standout performers for Leicester City this season. And when she was picked out here, she carried on going before eventually getting a shot in, which forced Hannah Hampton into her first save of the game. And this was a period of the match where it was Leicester City who were asking more of the questions. Hantala with the run and hit here. And Hampton called into action twice in quick succession, not long after that. Surging run from Rantala again. Her effort fisted away, and then on the follow-up, a golden chance for Yuka Momiki to put away the rebound, but Hampton got a piece of it, and it may well have come off the post as well. That said, Momiki knows that she should really have not given Hampton any opportunity at all to make the save. Really good period this was for Leicester City. And then the opening goal arrived, Leicester made a bit of a meal of getting the ball away. It was Julie Thibault who couldn't clear, and it fell away of Natalie Bjorn, who very cleverly hooked in her first goal for Chelsea since joining from Everton. Really good skill here and awareness and the perfect execution, although Josie Green on the line will be disappointed that she didn't do better with her attempt to clear Leicester's lines. Vital goal and a first goal in a Chelsea shirt for Natalie Bjorn. Yeah, Ramirez had been a constant menace going forwards for Chelsea. And while a few fouls had gone against her, she was entitled to inquire about whether Josie Green had impeded her in this coming together. Certainly a risky challenge for Green to make inside the area. A handful of Ramirez's shirt as they jostled for it, but uh, Phoebe Cross decided to play on. And Ramirez then managed to pick the pocket of Julie Thibault again, her error proving costly for Leicester. Ramirez threw on goal and very coolly rounding Liz Pop before side putting home her first goal in the WSL and one that has Chelsea well on course to return to the top of the WSL as well fine finish from the Colombian pace and power to uh, win the ball and get clear of Thibault afterwards and then ice cool composure to finish it off and Leicester with a big task in front of them now after going two down. Ramirez with her tail up after this. No foul on CJ Pot. And uh, Ramirez then with the cutback. Chakovic's effort. Pot almost spilled it into her own net. But it went behind for a corner. So Chelsea in charge at the interval. They lead Leicester by two goals to nil. So this is the tail of the tape in the first half. Chelsea with 
more shots and more on target as well. In terms of offsides, there's been three for Chelsea so far as they've tried to push on. Some very marginal decisions, mind. And Leicester have actually had more of the ball, 55% possession for the hosts. Well, before we rejoin the action for the second half earlier this afternoon, Arsenal welcomed their neighbours Tottenham to the Emirates Stadium. Jonathan Pearce was on commentary duty. Meads corner into the middle. Here's Russo. Comfortably saved by Rebecca Spencer back in the Tottenham goal. Aim that Arsenal must win here to get back into the title race genuinely. Gentle save there for Rebecca Spencer. Arsenal had so many first half calls. Here it comes again. Look at Russo once more. Had to stretch wide it goes. Difficult chance. The Tottenham are giving her far too much space at set pieces. Arsenal must make one of these count. And back in by Thomas. It's a lovely ball back to her by Celine Bisset Ildesoy. Thomas, who got the goal in Tottenham's win against Arsenal before Christmas, goes for it. Pumped away by Manuela Zinsberger. Back in the Arsenal starting lineup, the goalkeeper. I thought she was offside there. Play goes on. Keeper got her angles right in the end. Palmed it down to safety. Ford through two challenges. Little. Here's Mead. Oh, she's gone inside and it's blocked by the very impressive Molly Barchup. I wonder if she'd gone on the outside there, it would have been more profitable. I've seen a great deal of Tottenham in the attacking sense. And here they come. They look for Jess Naz. Godina's behind. Oh, she sidestepped her. That's a good effort. And I think Zinsberg got something on it and it hit the bar. That's the closest we've come to a goal. Totally against the runner play. Tottenham nearly score. Good ball to her. She checks back in here against Codino's off balance. That's a decent save by Zinsberg. Just a fingertip onto the top of the bar. Did enough for the goalkeeper for Arsenal. Good start of the second half for Arsenal. Getting players wide, using the width better. Little becoming more of an influence with those late runs. Comes back here for McCabe. Had a good game again, Katie McCabe up from the back. Little did well. McCabe came inside, shot deflected. What can they do here, Arsenal? Ford touches it off to Little. Great switch of play. Mead in behind. Big chance for Arsenal. Must be. It is. Alessio Russo. Four minutes into the second half, breaks the deadlock. A game that needed a stroke of quality. And this is it here. This is a wonderful pass by Kim Little. Me gets inside, might have been fouled there, you know, but the referee didn't blow. And Alicia Russo sticks Arsenal ahead. Into double figures now in all competitions this season, that's her tenth. Is this a foul? Might have been, you know, but Me got the vital touch on. And Lesia Russo gives Arsenal the advantage. Still all Arsenal. Pelova. Caitlin Ford. Mead. Pelova. Clever scoop ball over the top looking for McKay. Oh, now is that a foul? By Rebecca Spencer as she came out. I don't think she got anything on the ball. And she certainly made contact there with McCabe. As Arsenal looked for a second. Anywhere else in the pitch, that's a foul. Well, it hasn't been pretty, it has been gritty. But Arsenal hold on to win the game. And look how vital it means to win a North London derby. So, a vital victory for Arsenal against North London rivals Tottenham Hotspur. Manchester City, though, top of the pile as things stand after they defeated Everton on Saturday. A big win for Liverpool away at Aston Villa. Brighton and Hove Albion hit seven away at Bristol City. Manchester United held to a one-all draw by West Ham. And Chelsea, as we've seen, leading Leicester by two goals to nil.
Well, if Chelsea can hold on to the current state of play, they would replace Manchester City at the summit on goal difference. Leicester, meanwhile, would remain in seventh above Aston Villa on goal difference. So Chelsea in charge at the interval. The second half is coming up soon. Leicester City then looking to try and get themselves back in to this WSL encounter. Chelsea making a change here. Sophie Ingle looks uh, set to come on and it looks as though it was uh, perhaps a bit of a short notice decision given that it was half time so they would have had ample opportunity to get her prepped and readied. But Ingle is about to enter the fray in the first alteration from Emma Hayes this evening. Not too much he would have wanted to alter about the way they played in the first half, but it is a tough ask now for Willie Kirk's side to get back into the equation. So it's Erin Cuthbert who is replaced by Sophie Ingle. It's a like-for-like like swap in the centre of the park, so she will slot in alongside Nushkin. So Leicester City get this second half underway, kicking from right to left. Although they trail by two goals to nil, I wonder if the message is... Been more of the same, please, from Willie Kirk. Confirmation of the change at the interval. Cuthbert off and Ingle is on. Carter giving chase, but it will uh, safely come through to Hampton. Made a couple of very sharp saves in that first half. Complexion of the game could have been completely different had it not been for those blocks that she made. Defeat at uh, Manchester City ended a run of 10 successive wins in all competitions for her team. 
set to get back to winning ways this evening. Carter. If that's the one to get something out of the game, they are going to have to take a few more risks and saw a couple of times the quick counter that uh, Ramirez can lead and the danger that that brings. Ingle forwards, Ramirez's little nudge on. CJ Bott gets back. In slides Nushkin. Bott. Held up by Ramirez, but manages to work it back. Now it's all the way back with Cop. Cayman. Cop again. Try to thread it through towards uh, Courtney Nevin. Hushkins push that on to Ritten Conried. Still Johanna Ritten Conried. Perise, Chankovic, Perise, given straight to Julie Thibault, who will be desperate to try and make a positive impact, given the uh, errors that led to the Chelsea goals. That's nicely done. Mamiki kept out by Hannah Hampton, although flag is uh, now raised, I think it would have counted had uh, the shot beaten Hannah Hampton, it was on the rebound that the flag went up. Well, I think if the effort there had managed to go in, then uh, the goal wouldn't have been struck off, it was just on the follow-up that the flag was raised. Ramirez loses out. Chelsea, the only team in the WSL this season yet to lose a point when they've scored first this term. They've won all ten games when they've got the opening goal. And having added to that lead, well set to continue that run this season. Perisay gets it away. Made a bit of a mess of clearing that one. Mamiki, Courtney Nevin, just uh, levered off it by Perise. Perise having a pretty tidy game at the back, the French defender. Only uh, second start in the last six WSL matches, the uh, other coming in the 3-0 success away at Brighton in January. Hasn't scored for Chelsea yet, and considering that Natalie Bjorn has uh, opened her account and Myra Ramirez got her first in the WSL, it might be an evening for firsts in that regard. Cayman. Cop. Ramirez, lovely turn. Ritting Conried waits in the middle. 
Ramirez still carries. Myra Ramirez. Oh, almost a terrific goal from Myra Ramirez after she surged into the Leicester area. Well, she's uh, issuing a couple of apologies to teammates who were potentially better placed than her, such as Yelena Chankovic, who had stormed into the area, and Johanna Ritting Conried, both of them waiting for the pass that never came. Rantala going to ground, but not getting anything from the referee. Here's Carter. Ritten Conried latched onto that. There's no flag. Johanna Ritten Conried oh, just lost her way after she'd somehow found a way beyond the Leicester back line. Nushkin, Ramirez. Well, no sign that Chelsea are looking to just sit and protect the two-goal lead that they currently have. She was patched up in the first half, and I wonder if it's whatever that niggle was that has uh, led to her going down again here. Chelsea already making one change, and is uh, Willie Kirk going to be forced into a shuffling of the pack here? Looks as though her race is run. And again, it wasn't uh, obvious coming together of any kind that led to the issue for Josie Green, just as it was in the first half that led to her being bandaged up. Uh, one of Leicester's three centre halves heads off. And on in her place is Sophie Howard. Scottish defender who uh, has uh, played in all but one of their games this season, starting 17 of 20. So, uh, First team regular that steps in for Chelsea Green. Ramirez has been dragged down by Julie Thibault. That's been an ongoing battle throughout the evening. Well, a set piece led to Chelsea's opening goal. What have they got up their sleeve here? Tossed in by Perise and stretching. Cop makes the save. Ingle, Chankovic dug out the pass nicely, but it was uh, read by Bot early up towards Whelan. Nevin away from Perise, but then uh, let herself down with the final ball storming forwards here is Ritting Comreed Ritting Comreed
Carter. Perisay. Carter. Right and turning into trouble. Takarada. Newly arrived Sophie Howard plays out from the back and it's collected by CJ Bott. That's a bit of a hit and hope. Chelsea scoring through uh, Natalie Bjorn's first for the club and a first in the WSL for Myra Ramirez, which means they've now had 15 different scorers in the WSL this season, which is the most that any side have had. Nushkin. Perisse. Written Comrade. Ingalls, little dab forwards, and here she is again. Chelsea negotiating the opening quarter of an hour of the second half without any really calls for alarm, and in fact, they're looking to get what could be a killer third. Ramirez with the turn and hit. Carter. Generally come on strong after the interval, Chelsea. They've scored the most second-half goals this season and conceded the fewest after the interval in the WSL this term. That's given away to Ritten Comrade. Here she is again. Not quite the touch he was hoping for. Tiba. Bot. Nevin. Still Nevin. from Carter cleared by Hannah Hampton helped on to Guru Wrighton on her own for now Wrighton will have a pop and uh, it's blocked behind by CJ Pot for a Chelsea corner Well, the New Zealand international tracking back well to shut the door on Guru Wrighton. Wrighton won the corner and she's taken it as well, met by Sophie Howard. Back out wide for Guru Wrighton. Guru Wrighton's ball in, didn't have enough height to clear Takarada. That's a better looking ball. And well watched by Courtney Nevin. Jankovic was waiting, but Nevin got there first. Might have been a shout for offside against Jankovic in any event. <laughs> Carter. Charles stands it up. Ramirez stretching. Perisse. Back into the mix, single tried to get up there. Charles will collect for Chelsea. Another goal now, and the points are absolutely in the bag, you feel. Unbeaten in their last 29 WSL matches when they've scored the first goal, winning 27 of them. And they look extremely well set to add another victory to that particular statistic tonight. 
Engel. Here's Carter. Howard was underneath it, but the header not ideal. Charles won back well by CJ Pop. Pop away from Charles. CJ Pop with a really good carry. Nevin wants it on this near side. She goes the other way. Just lost a bit of momentum by choosing that option, but Pop was nearly in again. Lung bursting run forwards from CJ Pop. Picked up the ball just uh, outside of her own area and then surged away. You just wonder if she'd gone left rather than right. If uh, Courtney Nevin might have been the better option. Perisay. Came into the weekend as the joint highest scorers away from home in the WSL this season. Chelsea, 17 on their travels before the two they bagged this evening. Look more than capable of adding to those two on their travels tonight as well. Although that's well intercepted by Janice Kamen. Bot. Next up for Chelsea, a uh, potential opportunity for some vengeance against uh, Manchester City, a top of the table clash in the League Cup semi finals in midweek, and then it's uh, more. Cup action for them at the weekend in the quarter final when they uh, travel to Everton. And the big games just keep on coming with Arsenal after that. Big chance here, meanwhile, for Ritten Comrade. 3 0. And that will do it for Chelsea, you feel. Johanna Ritten Comrade puts clear daylight between the champions and Leicester City. Emma Hayes can surely toast returning to the top of the table now. Her first goal since scoring in the defeat to Arsenal back in December for the Swede. And while it got a hefty deflection on it, I don't think there's any doubt that it's her goal as it cannoned of Janice Kamen. Well, all three Leicester goals, or all three goals Leicester have conceded tonight have been very avoidable from their perspective. But Chelsea have pounced when opportunity is knocked. Willie Kirk deciding now's the time to bring the changes. Eva Baker coming on along with Peterman. I feel a bit sorry for Eileen Whelan, who's uh, one of those who's uh, departed because a um, real tough ask for her tonight with uh, not a great deal of service. I'm 
Hampton chasing uh, another clean sheet this evening. He'll just be thinking back to that period in the first half when they were in the ascendancy and Hampton made that really good double save. Although Mamiki perhaps shouldn't have given her the opportunity to even have the possibility of making the save when it came out to her. Midway through the second half, as uh, Hampton sends it forwards. Mamiki, up the line by Nevin, but not enough juice on the pass. Michigan for Carter. Only conceded five away goals in the WSL this season. Chelsea, only Manchester City who have led in four on their travels have conceded fewer. And uh, Leicester's chances of uh, troubling the scorers have uh, diminished as the game has gone on. Wrighton. Charles. Oh, free header! Should have been for Nushkin with the opportunity that she's unable to take. Well, it's some ball in this, and you have to say it deserved better, really. Next up for Leicester is uh, an FA Cup quarter-final away at Liverpool next uh, weekend. And face uh, a Tottenham side just above them in the table. The four matches with Brighton and Aston Villa before they go into the home straight of the campaign with a uh, trip to Arsenal and then a home game with Manchester United. They stayed up on the final day last season, Leicester. Certainly not going to have that kind of anxious climax this time around. Not with the points all but assured. An opportunity with the games coming thick and fast for the champions for Emma Hayes to just uh, give a breather to some of her starters. Ramirez. Oh, that's lovely. Ritten Conried. Beautifully done. Oh, what a save that is. It's a gorgeous Chelsea move, and Nushkin denied by a top stop from Kopp. Right in. Side netting. Well, that's the save of the game. After the move of the game from Chelsea, lovely interchange of passes. Nushkin going for goal, and it's a big hand from Kopp to keep her out. Bjorn. Nushkin. That's going to be a uh, Leicester ball by the looks of things. Nevin. Howard. Now oh, here's uh, the newly arrived Baker trying to make something happen, but just ran out of pitch in the end.
Triple change then for the away side. And uh, this is a big moment for Katerina Macario making her Chelsea debut. She's been out with an ACL injury since the summer of 2022. Last senior appearance that she made was for Leon back in June of 2022. Signed in the summer of last year and now the American is on for her first minutes in a Chelsea shirt. Frank Kirby will get a late cameo as well. No goal for Nushkin this evening. She had that really good headed opportunity. And uh, Aggie Beaver Jones gets an opportunity to try and put her name on the score sheet. Right and withdrawn for the forward. Maybe Beaver Jones scored from the bench in Chelsea's 5-2 WSL victory against Leicester in November. Seven goals this season, five in the league, which has equaled her best scoring season already. Takarada stepping in. Here's Baker. Trying to bring Bott into it, read by Charles. Beaver Jones. Ingle. Well, the crowd enjoying first touches for Macario. So Chelsea next away to Manchester City in the League Cup. Then another trip to the north when they go to Everton in the FA Cup before a, a crunch encounter against uh, Arsenal in the league in a couple of weeks' time. Also have the Champions League uh, on the horizon with uh, home and away games against Ajax after that uh, big showdown against Arsenal. Tierney. Sophie Howard. Nevin forwards. And it's uh, been a bit listless from Leicester. That middle part of the first half, they were really on top and asking some serious questions. But uh, the two quick fire Chelsea goals towards the end of the half knocked the stuffing out of them, and they've never really recovered. Perisse. Ingle. Back from Carter. Nevin, on from Rantella, Ritten Conrad, Beaver Jones, Some that are um, 
suggesting that Frank Kirby wasn't quite ready to start this game, then perhaps bringing her on from the bench is uh, a risk, especially with the match already being in the bag for Chelsea. Back from Macario. Carter with the switch. The goal difference could still be pivotal considering how tight it is at the top between Manchester City and Chelsea. So they'll be looking to add to their tally here. And is this the moment it is? How about that? Katarina Macario, after having such a long wait to make her Chelsea debut because of that awful injury, she hasn't taken long to open her account for the Blues. Minutes after her introduction, she finds the back of the net. And that's the biggest plus of the night for Chelsea. Sean of some of their key forwards. She has stepped up to find the net in style here. Just over five minutes she had been on the pitch and she has stepped up to rifle this one home. Fine finish. And the American who has been out with an ACL injury since June of 2022 has her first goal in Chelsea colours and her first goal for anyone since scoring for Leon in May of 2022. Just a touch under two years ago. Rantela chasing. Carter gets it back. And Chelsea perhaps a bit sluggish in the first half, but they've been bang on point since the interval. Looks like a yellow card here, perhaps. Change uh, occurred as well there with uh, Hamano coming on for Jano Ritting Conried. Last appearance uh, for Chelsea was in the League Cup uh, quarter final against Sunderland earlier on last month. Only a second ever Chelsea appearance, having joined in January of last year. Confirmation of that substitution from Emma Hayes. Fifth and final one of the game. Hamano won't be able to keep that in. Well, it didn't look as though it was going to be another big Chelsea win over Leicester, but that's the way it's panned out. Going to see Emilia Pelganda.
come on for the last few minutes and uh, Denny Draper as well. Kirby. Shankovic couldn't quite find Ingle. Mamiki, who despite being on the losing side, is uh, a contender for one of the standout players in this game. Carter. Chelsea returning to the summit with a flourish. Well, it was a bit awkward for Manchester City against uh, Everton and Arsenal. And he managed to see off Spurs by goal to nil. It's a, a thumping Chelsea victory as they return to winning ways in style after losing to City in their last league game. Forwards by Howard. Howard goes back. Have been a bit porous late on in games, uh, Leicester. Lenin nine in the final 15 minutes coming into this, the most of any WSL team in the division. Uh, things stand it'll be six wins from six in the WSL for Chelsea against Leicester by a scoreline of 34 goals to two Jankovic Be able to get there, Beaver Jones, before it goes out, which will give Leicester the chance to make these changes. Well, Leicester's best player for me, Yuka Mamiki, who goes off and gets a big hand as a result. Amelia Talganda is her replacement. to Rantala, who was running things early on but just seemed to run out of a bit of gas as the game went on. He's uh, also withdrawn and, uh, as uh, said, Denny Draper comes on. Still got one change left up his uh, sleeve should he wish to make it. So, uh, Amelia... Talkanda turns 20 today, the Swedish midfielder. She has uh, been on the sub as a sub in all of the last four matches now since uh, joining in January. Her only appearances for the club. And Denny Draper, the 16 uh, year old talent, turns uh, 17 later on this month. Already the youngest player and youngest goal scorer in the WSL this season. And she uh, bagged against Bristol City last month. Fourth youngest WSL goal scorer of uh, all time. Another youngster there in the shape of Ava Baker. So, essentially a uh, bright future ahead for... Leicester, given the young talent at uh, Willie Kirk's disposal. And what a moment for Macario. And you can see what it meant to Emma Hayes as well. And could she be the difference maker during the title run in as well? Leicester 
haven't had a shot since the 49th minute of the game. That is the way that the matches just uh, gone firmly in the champions' favour after a fairly even opening, what, 40 minutes or so before Bjorn put Chelsea in front. Perese kept it in, Hamano, full touch from her. Thibaut under pressure. Clattered away by Kopp. Hamano. Asking Chankovic to chase. There's a right wrestle going on there, and uh, decision goes against Chankovic. Well, instinctive finish. May have been out for a long time, but she has not lost her eye for goal. Risky from Ingle. Bot. Baker. Tierney. Tierney again. Kirby lays it off. Thibaut. Just over 90 seconds of the 90 minutes remain now. Well, I don't think she was uh, expecting that, but she's poked it on here for Julie Thibault. Charles. Coolly done. Beaver Jones. Lifted forwards for Macario to chase. Thibaut deals with it and gets it back to Cop. Oh, that's given straight to Kirby, Macario, Hamano, should have been five. And she knows it. Well, risky to play out from the back there. Kirby was onto it immediately. And unselfish from Macario to tee it up for the Japanese international who should have had her first goal for Chelsea. Oh, another chance to open her account for Chelsea after another Leicester error at the back. Tipo is mightily relieved. Hamano into additional time, of which there'll be five minutes. Five minutes added time and Chelsea chasing a five-goal win. Chelsea would move uh, above Manchester City after 15 games in the WSL and with a goal difference superior by two. They will be three points ahead of Arsenal as well. Hamano. Nevin. Is Tierney. Carter won the header. Mopped up by Bjorn.
Perise. Hamano. Oh, that's uh, turned into a handy pass for Kirby. Frank Kirby. Yelena Ciankovic. Perise. Ingle. Not quite the right line and length for Charles to be able to latch on to. Heading towards an eighth clean sheet in their last ten WSL away games are uh, Chelsea. It'll be eight victories, one draw and uh, one defeat in their most recent ten games on their travels in the league. And a fine response after the disappointment against Manchester City. And what it does is uh, tee up that game against Arsenal very nicely indeed. Baker almost through, but Carter with immaculate timing. Charles. Ingle has shunted that straight into the path of Tierney. Baker. She was aiming to slip in Peterman, but she wasn't quite on the same page. Carter. Hampton with the big switch and uh, too big for anyone in a Chelsea shirt to keep in. Well, she would probably admit that they weren't at their very best at the start of the game, but as the match has gone on, they have shown their class. Tinney. Final minute of additional time. Plenty of positives for him to take from the first half showing at the least. But it will be another heavy defeat to Chelsea for Leicester City and another defeat for him against uh, Chelsea as well. Out to Kirby, probably the last attack of the game. Hamano, corner. Chelsea will need to hurry if they want to take it. Well, they don't seem in any great rush to get on with it. Plenty crowding around Kopp in the Leicester goal. Terrace's corner is cleared. Hamano. Chelsea return to the top of the WSL table in style. Emma Hayes' side were given a bit of a test by Leicester in the first half, but then showed their quality. Natalie Bjorn with her... First goal for the club, Myra Ramirez then weighed in with her first in the WSL. Johanna ritting Conried made the point safe after that goal from Ramirez with her strike in the second half. And then the moment of the match really for Chelsea, Katarina Macario scoring on her Chelsea debut after being out of action due to injury since June of 2022. Her smile 
is the broadest inside the King Power this evening. And you can see just how delighted her teammates are for her as well. A great moment for her and for Chelsea and a great result for Emma Hayes' side as well, who are back on top of the table. Leicester City nil, Chelsea four. So Chelsea, who had a great record against Leicester City, arrived at the King Power looking for the victory that would power them back to the summit. But Leicester had the better of the first half and could and perhaps should have been in front when Jutta Rantala was first denied by Hannah Hampton. And then on the follow-up, the better opportunity came to Yuka Mamiki, who was unable to beat Hampton. Having weathered a little bit of a Leicester storm, Chelsea then got themselves in front. Great improvisation by Natalie Bjorn to score her first goal for Chelsea. Defending wasn't the greatest from Leicester. The error from Julie Thibault in getting the clearance all wrong, punished well by Bjorn. Although Lucy Green could perhaps have done better with her attempt at clearing away from the goal line. Myra Ramirez had uh, done her best to make it a real physical test for the Leicester back line and she managed to buffet Thibaut off the ball here and then surged away before keeping her call to round cock and calmly stroke home for her first goal in the WSL. That to go alongside the one she scored against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup and that had Chelsea 2-0 ahead at half-time. Ramirez was uh, on her metal now and when no foul was given here she teed up Cankovic who had a chance to make it three and it was almost embarrassing for Kopp as the ball squirmed under her body but wide for a corner rather than into the net. But she was proving to be a real handful now, the Colombian, certainly too much for CJ Bott to handle on that occasion. Yuka Momiki was the standout player for Leicester City and in the second half she managed to carve out a presentable opening here. The effort though repelled comfortably by Hannah Hampton. Momiki all her own work and uh, Hampton had to be watchful as she went for the near post. Mara Ramirez then Spun away brilliantly from Josie Green here and ate up the turf. She had options inside the area but opted to go in alone. And while the run was good, the finish was disappointing and there was disappointment on her teammates' faces as she acknowledged there after failing to convert. The third goal, which had felt fairly inevitable given the way Chelsea were playing, came courtesy of Johanna Ritten conried cutting inside the challenge of Janice Kamen and then sending her effort in via Kamen. Big deflection on it, no doubt that it's Ritten conried's goal though and that effectively killed off the match as a contest as Leicester were caught with too many players upfield when Chelsea pounced on the quick counter.
There was uh, a chance for Nishkin to get herself on the score sheet. Low save, very well made by Kopp to keep her at bay. Chelsea were rampant at this point in the game. Right in, into the side netting at the end of that move as well, but it was all about the save from Kopp here as Nushkin tried her luck from close range. And then arguably the moment of the match, a emotional moment for Katarina Macario, who has been out since the summer of 2022 with injury. And almost immediately after being brought on for her Chelsea debut, she managed to find the net with a predatory finish. That the icing on the cake for the Blues, who are back top of the table after a 4-0 win at Leicester. Chelsea victors then at Leicester by four goals to nil. 20 shots to five in the end for Chelsea, who really turned it on after the interval. Ten on target to Leicester City's four as well. When it came to the possession stakes, though, it was even Steven and a dead even 50% each. So that's the final game of the weekend in the Barclays Women's Super League. It began with Manchester City beating Everton by two goals to one. Arsenal edged past North London rivals Spurs 1-0. Liverpool with a big win at Villa by four goals to one. And Brighton hit seven away at Bristol City as well. 1-1 between West Ham and Manchester United. And Chelsea, as we've seen, 4-0 winners at Leicester. So after 15 rounds of matches in the Barclays Women's Super League, this is how things stand. Chelsea are back on top of the table on goal difference from Manchester City. Arsenal remain three points behind those two. Manchester United losing further ground on the top three, though, after that draw with second from bottom West Ham. Leicester stay seventh. So Emma Hayes' side have got the job done. They've bounced back from that defeat to Manchester City in style they are back at the top of the pile from all of us it's goodbye <laughs>